No, well, not a lot happening as it's... Not yet. There's first a sneaky smoke before, rotation, yeah. Liz. Is there? Yeah, if I can move in right now, they might find themselves in the moon. Although, Magnus, if he has to level skewer level one, he's fine with this. Yeah, but you don't really want to level that skewer level one. And if you do get disrupted into arrow, that skewer won't really help you a whole lot. But because they didn't scout anything out, Magnus Moon Meander is smart enough, smart boy. He moves back, he doesn't get caught. Well played by him. Has to be careful though, because they're still around and lurking. They went on for the runes. Although it should be obvious to the side of Panas pretty quick, considering that all they saw bot was void. How are you scouting out with the use of the nature's guys? Yeah, if they're not where you are, they're probably there where you are not. So that's a <laughs> they understand. The top tier analysis there, <laughs> the Top tier. That's that's my life. That's how I play Dota. Oh yeah? No, no more techies on your streams then. I'm glad no, to hear. No techies. Nothing Looks like that. Looks like Aoi's gone a bit more budgeted than Cube. Of course, he is the five, so he can't afford a stout shield as well. He did go for the Orb of Venom start. Mm. I mean, that last three didn't win, so maybe this one without the stout can. And I, I believe Orb of Venom is fine enough. If you're playing position five, this is how you play. Sadly for him, uh, he's a bit... He's a bit deep here. Chasing Bone 7, but sadly for Bone 7, he got hit a couple of times and he's already on 50% HP. Yeah, they've left the Bristle alone because you want the Shadow Demon and Moran together for easy kills. But while solo XP is nice, you have to be able to get the XP. And this is always the issue with Core Spray. One point and it doesn't get the dire very board on the mid lane, scouting Miran out. Like that, that ward there is just perfect. This, this arrow should not connect. Brawl dodges it. It was a good arrow, by the way, Cube. That was a good arrow, if not for that ward. But because of that ward, Cube is going to waste some of his time. They should suspect that, though, because after they got dodged when Moon moved away pretty early, that should have been suspicious to begin with. That's just confirmation. You're going to see Cube's like, hey, I'm a four that can farm the jungle level one. Yeah, he's completely fine. But uh, at the same time, you have a dual lane without the Mirana on top, and you have a tri lane just crushing Bone. That's the problem. Bone is being crushed. They're crushing his bones. Oof, that doesn't sound too nice. I He's mean, level two. I mean, he I'm, I'm impressed he got to two. I'm impressed. That's because they didn't really block the creep wave and it's radiant safe lane, so they can uh, just they can just farm. They can't really outzone him. He's under the tower. All right, they've given up the tri lane. They're like, fine, he got two. Time to move up top. We need to help out Moon Meander. It's not like you let Magnus fall behind because he is critical to your success. Yeah, but it's. Mm, I I think Magnus, even if you let him uh, here on a solo lane, he gets that Empower up and your Jug will have farm. You know, you just use that Empower. On the other hand, if Bristleback has nothing, you're just minus a hero. He's absolutely useless. So I believe it's more important for Viking GG to have a good Bristle lane. Yeah, that's not looking too good right now, Liz. They're chasing in, they're gonna slow him down, and Bone will give the first blood. Yeah, he did. He was sent back home, but at least that will let him purchase some more region, perhaps, as he has sold his fairy fire to buy the Quelling Blade. And he just got the kill on AUY, as AUY wasn't really patient enough to, to wait those extra seconds. It takes seconds. too long now. Yeah, it takes too long. He, he dies, he gives 100 gold to Bristle. Meanwhile, we haven't really seen too much from Marana so far. Just been CS in the big creeps. That's kind of one of the weird things as hero right now. Because you can instantly kill the creeps, it doesn't matter if you're actually landing your shots and doing a good job. You can just still fall back and be a relatively well-farmed four. So maybe that's kind of the rebuttal. The problem is that Bone might go down again. It is the level two quills, though, so they respect it and back off. But Aoi, ooh, he fought about that for a second. Uh, the wind lays. Why might die here, Aoi? Has to be careful. He has fi he had five quill, quill sprays there, uh, but then again, uh, this bristle can't approach the creep wave. This bristle is just ruined. He doesn't have a game at the moment. I'm surprised they didn't send anyone to help him out. No, they're just leaving him to his own devices, and the problem is that Aoi is just pummeling him down right now. He knows he'll slowly burn him out of his lane. He's got one tango left, one mango. Okay, this is my this is my problem in in the way Viking are approaching this game. You aren't killing anyone on top lane. And Flash is super capable of keeping this lane uh, good for Frost. Like, he can zone them out. He can he can alleviate the pressure if they try to go on Frost, right? They should be able to dual lane. So why isn't uh, why isn't Cube going bottom? He That's because he's going mid. Can he arrow Brile? 
Oh, oh he actually he walked into it. it. Bryle gets caught out, and they have got a little bit splitter. Easy to hit on a stun target, but it's tanky. Yes, tornado. Yes, yeah. tornado. He's, He's got very the stick, tanky. the fairy fire is fine. I mean, the Get reason bought. why the, the arrow was amazing, cube, good job, but why that arrow didn't work is because it hit a 100% HP Invoker, and that's a Quas Vex Invoker who will heal up in a matter of seconds, and you just wasted a lot of mana, and if you're less, you're not happy about what happened. On the bottom lane, oh, yeah, yeah. Is someone fine. who's even more unhappy is Bone. Who no, he's this time. spamming quills a lot, and yeah, he has to be he has careful. To back off. Still, it's a loss factor for Bone. He's out of regen completely. Luckily for him, the shrine is coming up in 20 seconds, but I don't know if he can contest the runes. Well, maybe he can because Cube is around. You take that risk on 140 HP right now? Probably not. Mm. Cube also can be killed here. How many leap charges has he got? Only one. He yes. arrows AY, but too early. Too early, yeah. And he leaps. He used the last leap. They don't know he's used all of them though, because he was using them off map. So he'll be able to back away anyway. He did go for the bottle as well, so he's Top better lane, for most. Moon Meander. This is a very early rotation from the track. It won't even connect. I mean. The mid lane is a little bit difficult for him, so he rotates top instead. Um, he's trying to pressure Moon Meander, but he's not really able to do so. Oh, the arrow. They catch Moon Meander, and the split off is enough to bring him down. They got him. Finally, they are able to do something with that Marana. Finally, because Moon, because uh, your Lash rotated top to secure the bounties, and now he's back mid into the loving embrace and of Bryle, who welcomes him with one EMP tornado combo. He's like, welcome back, Clash. Give me your mana. Thank you, sir. It's like, Go to oh, the tower. You, went, you want to come back and get XP and gold in the lane? You're going to have to use every bottle charge just to have anything to do. Cube, arrows. Arrow is... Uh, like that arrow was meant to kill the Carty, but the problem is the Creepway was moved by Invoker, so the Carty will be the one that dies first. No pressure there, and Jug is just at a self-sustained point. The Bristle might start to get a little bit of something, but overall he can't handle the Envy Juggernaut now. A little bit problematic, which means they can actually just rotate on top, and they're doing that right now. They do see Frost, they're moving in. Science is going to come out with the Leech Seed as well. He needs to get rid of this quickly. Inkswell as well. Frost in a bit of trouble. No time walk. Oh, no, they blocked him. Moon got in front of him. The Creep Wave as well meant they couldn't connect with the Inkswell, so Frost will be able to salve up. Yeah, they're too... Fat asses, and they blocked each other. And Frost is like, "See you later, suckers." He gets out, but all right, the pressure. Out. He hasn't got the time walk either, so this damage is done to Frost on the side. Arrow does connect on the Snake King. They haven't got the follow-up damage. Keeps moving in with the DD, trying to chase through. The disruption's going to be there from the Shadow Demon. Looks like Flash will go down. And now Mastermind does show up. Owie will go down for the aggression. At the same time, Snake King is being chased down by Cube, who has that double damage, and this is a dead Snake King. So. Not just that. Look at Moon. Moon Meander. Reinforcements coming in from now. Mastermind EMP will put him out of mana. But Brawl's still taking a lot of damage from the Diabolic Edict. Arrow. There's a stun full up. The arrow as well. They get a bigger kill out of it. And now they might get another. The DD is still running, and Cube will chase on the Moon. Doesn't have a point to put into the skewer. Sadly enough, can't get away, or we'll go down. Cube, very well played, uses his double damage rune in full effect. I believe he uh, contributed to three kills with the arrow as well. Bristleback on the bottom lane, being Omni slashed, dies instantly. And I, li I like what Viking GG they're doing on the other sides. They are really playing well. Then again, Bone7 is suffering quite a lot, but the other lanes are quite all right. They got a couple of kills there. No, absolutely, they need that as well. If that rotation doesn't pay off, you just start to see this game slide away from them. Yeah. Bone is still suffering, though. This is the issue they haven't dealt with. But they can't go and do it too early, right? Like, we see this a lot, where people try and salvage another lane, lane and throw away their own ones. Oh, no, for the two illusions. Feels good. Arrow well, does they connect. Are. They should be again, then. It will still go down. Good gemacht. It did require four heroes. They need to get this tower to make it worthwhile. In the meantime, Bone does die in the bot lane with the rotation coming out from the supports on the side of Pandas. By the way, guys, just so you know, that good gemacht is just because I'm in Berlin and Dota is on German, so well played, I guess, is translated instantly to this. So I, I was like, wait, why does Mirana speak German? What's happening? All right. It's a new day, a new age for Mirana's, I guess. Some alternate history, you know. <laughs> did you did you watch that uh, show, Man in the High Castle? Yeah, that yeah, Man name? in the High Castle. Yeah. I don't think we've gone that far though into the uh, <laughs> the past and the future. We have gone to a day where you get to watch Bone 
in a game. And uh, this is this is more kind of like two or three years ago bone feeling, right? Where he's just getting completely trampled on. Yeah, it, it's a difficult situation for him. He did manage to pick up two bracers though, and oh, arrow again. Man, Cube is on point, and Snake King. Mm -hmm. Aoe, he's got the stick. Help him. Let's balance out, and he'll stay alive. Now the Ink Twelve Envy's trying to come in. A little bit too late though. Dude. He his teammate gets arrowed. What Envy does is he runs in the opposite direction <laughs> instantly, like, help the man out. Like, you could see that Mirana instantly had to go back when Envy came, but it was a little bit too late because Bone 7 rotates and he gets his name on the map. He gets his face on the map as he gets that kill. AUY. Arrow, arrow. Trial. A little bit too close for comfort. He wants to EMP. They almost punished his greed at wanting to bleed their mana. Frost, however, can he get these runes top? Moon has the RP. Is it worth it for a rune? Uh, I mean, if you're not going to use it for anything else, it is. Or he could just let you have it. Meanwhile, the other rune top. Bro, I was sneaking in for this one. He has the cold snap as well, so he could punish Cube. He's got it. Cube finished his medallion, which will help out in the Chronos too, to help this Void dish out some extra amount of damage. Bottom Same lane, we see them well. rotating around Bone, but there is Mastermind. There's an Omni going. Slash is the problem here. The Sans has come out Mastermind. The Omni Slash is going to be used, and now the Inkswell connects onto two. They can even clean up Bone 7 in the tree line. They try and move through. In the meantime, Snaking is going to go down to the Quills, keeping his back to him. Needs a few more Quill cool procs to do some serious damage, but the Tornado comes in. He hasn't oh, got well, enough well. to bring anyone else down. Yeah, Envy is just having two really good games for himself. In that first match, he was doing very well with the Void. Get, got that Midas that wasn't really on time, but managed to pull out ahead and get a lot of uh, late game items. This time around, he's going for these early game pickups. Diffusal after the Basilus and Power Threads. He definitely wants to be as active as possible. Also, you don't really have to go for anything different. You're a Juggernaut, and also you have a Magnus with you. A Magnus that will very go down by the look of it, Liz. Yeah. One more tap should do it. He actually throws out the RP. Can he hasn't got a shrine. They know he hasn't got a shrine because Cube forced it out of him earlier. So they're going to ping it out and chase. They have got a leap of five seconds, but Mastermind is here to clean up what his supports could not. Yeah. Where are you going? Straight into the arms of a loving mid, of course. Yeah, they got him. Got him. A lot of drawings on the map, as you can see right now. Some circles left, right, and center. Love, 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 love me some circles. Yeah. A little Venn diagram of life. I have a few Venn diagrams in this game. You've got your Chronos, you've got your Overgrowth Rings, Magnus RPs. You can make beautiful shapes. We can also make beautiful kills. Bone, Cold Snap, EMP, Leech Seed to follow up. they got a spin to finish him off. Moonlight Shadow shouldn't change this, though. They should know where he is, but no. They wait too long. Why the Purge is going to come out. Why, didn't, why did he not spin? He should have spinned right there. That was uh, an interesting choice from Envy. But, you know, he has his moments of magic. Because if this is what his moments of awkward is like, this is good. They had one Four sentry bandits. on trees, so even if he doesn't spin, I guess you can put sentry and kill off uh, the bristle back. But the, probably why he didn't want to spin is you don't want to kill this bristle anymore. You want to kill him, but you don't want to die of tier two for it. It's too, yeah, you're tier two. If you spin, you haven't got your TP yeah. escape afterwards. And there's void with Chrono lurking about. He can TP in, counter kill. It, it's good. It's good that he didn't. It's good for him, that is, to go back. It's pretty good things. We've got a void game where. There is a Midas, a much earlier point than the last one that Envy got. So maybe this is a good shining light of hope for Viking. Maybe this time, is, are we like the Void game last time, but Having quicker. a Void is always a shining light in your draft, no matter what. Right now, that hero is just uh, in a really good spot. And having him on your team always allows you to, to pull out ahead and win a match. You just need a couple of good chronos. And uh, especially if they don't have any saves. And Flying Pandas, they don't have any saves they have. What overgrowth and perhaps a tornado in the in the chrono, but that doesn't save you once Void has those BKBs up. No, they have the classical panic saves, right? Like we used to joke about Void's of panic chronos save their own life. It's the same. You could maybe do an RP to save your life, but it's not optimal. It's not like you got this shadow demon who's just gonna go. Let me just stick you in a bubble. It'll be off cooldown soon anyway. Mm -hmm. Not mentioning the amount of stun control. You know, we mentioned it earlier that when you look on the side, flying panas they're a bit lacking. But when you think about Viking. If you're not bashing as a void, you've got the disruption to set up easy split earths and arrows. Yeah, that soul catcher in the chrono will help out a lot as well. You talked about it, you talked about that percentage HP removal. That's always fun to have, that's always good to have. 
You know, I used to talk about, and we'll talk about it in a moment, actually, because pause that four. Looks like there's a kill coming in. Mastermind with the DD moving in. Silent Stop, he needs to get rid of it quickly, though. Soulbind's going to link them together. RP comes out. Snake King will still go down, but they need reinforcements here. Inkswell will stun them up. The follow-up is good as Brawl does arrive, and he'll secure himself two kills. <laughs> what the perfect arrival from Brawl there. Just delivered the meal. Yeah. Also, they take down they take down the Grimstroke, but he's right next to Magnus. Magnus gets Inkswell. TRP has that double stun. And feels pretty good about it. Empowers the Juggernaut straight after so that his boy can continue farming. There is Mirana Zolt, but what do, do you this? really want to go three versus five right now? Yeah. Is that really the right call, call? Probably not. I mean, I'm not a professional mathematician, but those numbers don't sound good. I think you just need to calm down back yes, up. Three, three is usually lower Bone. than five. Uh, even though when you start losing more heroes like that and the tornado follow up, that's uh, going to be down to three again. Starting to try and protect. The spin comes out. The arrow will be with. Actually, it does connect on the moon in the end, but can they actually turn this into a kill? He's so bulky with the cloak and the bracer. Looks like they'll have to let him walk away. They do at least protect the tier one tower, so the most important thing kept alive if I can out of that. Region rune there, probably for moon, as he's very low on mana. Meanwhile, Invoker takes the bounty runes, handles that. Two that bounty person. runes. Help him towards his Midas. Mm -hmm. Two bounty runes. Is, uh, Side, Brawl, yeah, you can definitely go for Midas. The problem with Invoker when you're going for this Quaswex build is that you can fall off very quickly. Uh, Midas will allow him to farm a bit more, get some levels, obviously, too. It, it's not really the best timing for it, and I wonder if maybe just going for straight Ags would be better. Or Vessel in there Ags. Go, yeah. yeah, he changes. It's really good in this game, especially against that Bristle. You know, eventually, inevitably becomes tanky, and now yeah, it's good. It's entry. Good, like, I really love the fact that I didn't continue talking about the fact that Midas is all right, that I stopped that. Yeah, stop justifying it. I We're going different ways. stopped justifying way. it, and just before he, he changed the You know what you do? You, you segue it, and you point out that it's great, but it's not as good as the new spirit vessel, Soulcatcher. There you go. The Shadow Demon, you know, he still brings that advantage. It is based I used to joke that AA's last was a built-in spirit vessel and it was worse, right? Whereas this time, the way they've redesigned Shadow Demon... Yeah, yeah, is the spirit vessel. Like yeah, he hero. needs to get an Arcana that just turns him into a giant That vessel. hero is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, no, just just make make a vessel underneath him and he's the genie of the, out of the vessel, you know? Yeah, that could work. Or just have him throw a giant spirit vessel across the map. Yeah. There's loads of ways we can go with this, but right now, if I can just destroy towers, by the way. Overgrowth, Q forced it out on him alone. The cold snap's going to be with Spirit Vessel. He's still got the leaps. Moonlight Shadow needs to be popped, but he can't do it. Not while he's being cold snapped. However, oh, he's been baited out. It's going to be Purge coming out. Arrow connects, and the split up makes sure he gets destroyed. Yeah, they're taking uh, all objectives, and you can see that Flying Pandas, they aren't, they aren't willing to fight right now. Even though they crushed Bristleback, and he's not really a hero, uh, they don't want to fight until they have everything that they need. And there's the courier kill by Envy. He gets it as he's about to buy his Manta. He buys the Manta and kills the courier. Feels good, man. Yeah, it didn't have any items on it. That's the good news for Vikings. So they're not missing net worth. You know, I'm stuck on a courier who's dead for a few minutes at least. And the question is, what, what are you looking next? Probably the track with this car. This should be a big pickup for them. Just keep that burst damage going through. Bone, nothing too out of the ordinary. He's still in recovery mode, going towards probably that Crimson Guard as the game goes on. What we're looking at is a smoke coming from Flying Pandas. I was wondering when are they going to do something, and they were waiting for that Manta from uh, Jug to, to fight after. He grabs the Manta, and instantly they go into a Tier 1 pressure. The question is, is that enough? Because... Boy, it does Last have one's that hard catch. They're trying. Yules. Inks going to be his time. Chrono on the back line will allow him to get rid of Frost quickly. He's going to go down. No, in his own Chrono because the Omni Slash came out. Uh, um, um, you're supposed to kill the enemy team in the Chrono, not yourself. Oh, he's going to buy back. He doesn't have a Chrono this time, but do they have enough to actually fight up against this? Snake King will go down first. Link together because of the Grimstroke ultimate, but Magnus has found the tree line. Beautiful arrow enables him to get another kill. They do hold the tier one. They might not find more. And there will be questions asked about that Chrono. But you know, no one remembers the bad moments on the way. They remember the good straight afterwards as they're going to run straight into the Roche pit and get themselves what a do second you mean line. No one remembers the bad. Like, Loda used Chronos five years ago and he's still called, it's still called Loda Spheres. Everyone remembers the bad place. Be, <laughs> be worried, be scared. 
be very scared to fail because we remember Dota audience is merciless. That's fine because you know what's okay, Liz? Hmm? They put Omni slash on cooldown as well. Uh, that's not fine. <laughs> you gotta look at the positives, my friend. Uh, what's fine is that the, what is a positive that he, he bought back and he used his buyback to take down Roche. So he has that Aegis to work with, which will allow him to farm a bit more um, aggressively and recklessly. And I think that's, that's definitely a positive that, uh, that uh, Vikings can get out of that. And also they did take yeah. down Magnus and I believe Grimstroke in that fight. So uh, all things uh, considered, it could have been worse for them. Yeah, the RP wasn't forced out. So Pandas still have a means to fight here. Even with the Omni Slash on cooldown. Usually you want to wait for the two together. And that was another big thing that was going on. They were forcing Mastermind completely away from the fight. Magnus just ran him the whole time. So you think you're clean to just kill up Envy. No problems whatsoever, but it backfires so quickly. Look at AUI. He's just giving so much info here on the top lane. Just scouting them. Look at the wards as well that Aoi's plays down. Mid and bot. Like they have full vision control of this bot lane. They know it's safe to be here. Yeah, he's doing very well. They still Arrow. haven't got that tier one tower. That's the big crux of all this. So much now. Why is that? I'm calling it right now. The tree is dead. It's fine, okay. You know, trees die all the time. When we eat, when we use our tangos to somehow consume a whole tree, we never have a moment of silence or respect for them. So I do. Another. I do. Really? I, I always have. Do you not buy tangos anymore? I buy tangos. I'm. I, I'm not gonna go that way. I'm not. Oh, crazy. you're one. You're one of those people who judges people who eat meat, but then still eats them yourself, right? No. I, I oh, phone. He's in trouble here. Tornado fall. EMP. Flash is trying to save him here, but he can't get close enough. He just has to run away. Bone. He's still alive. There we go. The chop will get him. He's still alive, but not for long. He dies there, as that vessel definitely makes the game much more difficult for Bone Seven and his bristle back. Not for longer though. He's going for that Lotus next. I was wondering if he was going to pick this up. Mm. Definitely a much-needed item in this type of game. Meanwhile, Void just going towards that Mjolnir. He's getting pretty close now. And on the other side, this is the beauty of having the Magnus, right? If you're a Tenlin, if you're a jungle in this game, usually you're thinking about a farming item, which you had to stop off for. But that's not a concern here. You can already see, you know, he's got his hands on the Defu, Manta, straight into the Bastion X. Just control and ability to kill. Mm -hmm. What about Mastermind and their ability to kill him? Uh, he's got the Yules. He doesn't want to use it right now, though. Cold Snap's going to run out. There's the Yules. Dodges some of the damage, but the EMP is there. He's going to heal up with the big stick. And in the meantime, brings down Treant. They didn't actually account for the damage. Mastermind, he's staying alive. He will live through the Purge. And now the Tunnel is trying to come through. Snake King will go down. The Purge slowed him down, bro. Can he snipe this? No, he doesn't try. There's a sentry there. Bro actually has to be careful about how he plays around this Ghost Walk as they can scout. I believe that was that were the pings from AUY, perhaps telling him, don't go there. They he can have a sentry. He mentioned S4, now he can do things when he's not there. Owie, he's dead. It's a little bit easier, I guess. He's like, I fall for this mistake, don't you do the same thing, my But friend. that fight's really well played by Lesh to juke them, to wait with that Yules for the perfect moment. He uses that Yules. Uh, he buys himself an enough, enough time uh, for his damage to deal with the tree and then later on with Grimstroke too. Heavily highlightable point here as well, Void. This is the last out of tower. Now I'm falling for Pandas. A lineup that has Trin with 22 minutes in and they've lost all of their out of towers already. Problematic for the side of Pandas. They're definitely losing control of the map fast. They need to try and get this Juggernaut involved soon. There's the Basher complete. Basher completed on Jug. Um, they have no initiation though. That's also one of their issues. Uh, there isn't... There isn't... Uh, that blink on Magnus. There is only the tree end that's able to kind of go in the trees and oh. mess with them. They're doing it again. They're doing it. They keep trying. And look how fast he is. Disco Pony says bye. Can they kill Envy in the mid lane? The Chrono was used. Jumping in. Omisash is going to come out. Going to grab the Aegis straight off them there. Now chase on the bone. He needs to actually get away from this, but he slowed down too much. Now Envy needs an escape plan from this. Dodge that. The Arab that's split off is going to be there. Fight, the mana left on him, fights up against Mastermind, who's going for the back line first because the rest of the side of Pandas are stabbing him from the back. Keep will leap away. Gets him pretty low. Trying to chase on a Mastermind, but this Disco Pony is just too fast. He's Ryle off to the next is on dance. the chase. Can he get anyone? Flash moves to the high ground, but AUI has spotted him. AUI squared 2,000. Oh, he's not Did quick enough. That? <laughs> he's quite too far, I'm afraid not. He's not going to be able to get through. Flash. They're still going. 
This is getting a little bit risky, though, because it could be a turnaround opportunity. There it is. They get the cold snap. There's and no now, turnaround. disruption. Arrow? There could be an arrow coming through right now. He needs to buy the time here with the push to slow him down. But bro, no! He's not going straight to the arrow. He stands his ground, takes the kill, and Cube jumps in. Greenly looking for the second. Can't find it, though. Brown now needs to get out of here. Moon Meander has got the RP to use defensively if need be to save a life on the Maybe side. They will lose Aoi. Well. Now the RP with the skewer back. Looking to jump on Bristle. Now the Omstash coming through. We'll be able to bring him down, but doesn't jump across to another target. Frost, however, cannot fight against Mastermind. this. Mastermind back in the fray. He just forces that Invoker to force himself uphill, and that's pretty much it as they take down Bristle back once again. Man, it's, it's, it's very sad to see a Bristle back with this score. 4-8 on a Bristle. I mean, it's not very sad. I love seeing Bristle back die, but uh, it's sad for him, I mean. Are you on those... What? what? Did you see roadkill at the side of the, the road? And you're fine. It's like, I'm fine with that. It's like no, I love a hedgehog I... that's been killed. No, it's more like a hedgehog that you cannot kill at all, and he's ruining your house and everything, you know? And then when you manage to kill him, you're like... Oh, you mean yes. it's like it's like one of those rodents that you can never find, but you're just like, ah, oh, it's been nibbling on my exactly. furniture again. It does, it does bristle back, only, only not. He's just tanky, he's big, and you can never kill him. And when you kill him, it does definitely feel satisfying. It's like timber saws, centaurs, abaddons. Oh my god, I love to kill an abaddon. It's like my true. wet dream, I swear. Make like sure he doesn't Killing an abaddon. I feel like the biggest question I'm walking away with here is how big are the rats in Bosnia that you have to uh, worry about really them beating have. up? We don't, we don't, actually, we don't have rats too, too many. Not too many, at least. You won't see a rat in our city. Mid lane, AUY, he's a little rat hiding in the trees. A tree we'll rat. Scurry away, though. He's going to be fine. Will he, though? Yeah, right. he will. Purge will end. At the same time. Around. Jump in. Disruption comes out. Flash has caught something. Or has it caught him? Brawl, come out and finish him off. Yeah, he's caught something all right. He's caught a bad case of being dead in the fountain. Bad case of the feed. Cute mm -hmm. ball. Oh, I, I definitely feel like I see him what do this the most. The Volker, Chrono. The Chrono. Bryo got baited in. He wanted that kill so badly. They had the wards down. They knew he was coming. Worth it for a big kill like that. And now they can pressure the high ground. Perfect position as well to take down a hero as you can pressure the high ground. However, they're strolling. They're coming. There's AUI scouting out the wards as well. And because of that, because of those wards, they won't find any kills. But at least the D ward is coming out. Yes. You just have to, like, the problem is before you could go for that, you don't feel too bad. But because Envy now has this Abyssal complete, it's a spook factor, right? It's another reason Void's so good. So you have these heroes that can kind of easily escape, but there's always that bash factor you have to count for. He has no BKB. You need to get the BKB on Frost as soon as possible. The bash is great, but you know also what's great. It's the Zhuk, it's the Phantom's Embrace bug. If you throw this bug on Void, he's in problems. And yeah. you know who else is in problems? Master Flash. Mine. No escape from what? that rotation. They might catch more in the exit. But the Wait, are there was a Lash Rack there, right? No, that was uh, it was just a colorful creep. Uh, I thought maybe a courier or something. Why did it die so fast? It's possible. I wouldn't have a courier with that many particle effects. They're expensive. What and about this could be an expensive man. death. Bone protected by the disruption. But he's still coming out into a mess here. Oh, oh no. Oh, ooh, uh. That's a big play there to kill the healing board. A big mistake by Envy. I mean, it's not the greatest mistake ever as he's oh. turning back in. Yeah, Bone is maybe making mistakes. They drag him in too late. Nice arrow to slow down Envy. Should allow Bone to survive. They can't afford to have him go down here, but they force stuff in. Envy chasing in the abyssal's there. Disruption save again. Dodges out the ink swell. They need to be backing up. And no, they actually get the that crit in the bash. They get him. He goes down, he has no buyback, and that'll open up the base for Pandas. He bought enough time for Frost to be pushing that top lane, and he's got the tower on 50% HP. But you're playing versus a tree. If you don't kill this tower, it's not it's not good. No, and uh, now you might lose someone for it. Stunned up. Frost is in trouble. No yes. escape from that. The damage, oh my god. And they can't even catch anyone on the mid lane because they were careful enough to just move back once their Juggernaut ported out. Very well played strategically from Flying Pandas. Good angle as well from Snaking. I mean, you saw the damage he put out there in the end. Half of Boy's HP just disappeared before his very eyes. Radiant and scared. look at this, Roche. It's gonna be up in 10 seconds. Perfect timing because Boy is dead for 60 and he has no buyback. In fact, he's 35 gold short right now. Arrow by the Mirana. Per oh, just Check. about just about saw it. However, in the mid lane, maybe they all got distracted looking at the pit because now Bone Seven's in trouble. The blink forward, Eternal Envy gets in front of him and I'll open up the base. DDs, they always decide things, especially when you've got an invoker to buff you up further. 
I don't know, man. This Bristleback. What has it done this game? It's like you can you can see the difference in tiers of these two teams just by the drafts. Nothing more is necessary. You, you can just look at the drafts, and when you see a, see a hero such as Bristleback picked in in in, uh, in this game, you're just like you you have to ask yourself, what's the point? What's the strategy behind it? What's the what did they plan with the Bristleback? I understand it it could work, but at least if you give him a good lane, Mastermind. You, oh, the overgrowth's gonna be there. Cancels out the TP. He just used the BKB as well. He can kill them. He actually might, bro. He needs to be careful here. The chop through is gonna be enough. It's gonna be close. He does get the final hit out, though. If only he didn't try to TP at all and just fought them from the get go. And meanwhile, on the base, they did lose Flash as well. I mean, and they the side. Play. They lost, lost Flash on the side, so. They lost the side in a flash of an eye, to be correct. Now, Sawbine jumping in. Envy wants the Abyssal of the two, but the Chrono's going to be there, but he doesn't have the damage to bring him down. Envy is so tanky. The arrow follow-up, finally. Can they get him? Only down to half HP. Split off. Trying to follow up RP to try and save the day, but no. Envy's gone. A big kill now. Moon Miando, that is the most brave TP I've seen all day. And probably will see all day. Snake King dies behind him. Moon will be cleaned up. They did at least get two lanes, but they got a little bit too greedy trying to finish the game too quick. Such a good use from Lesh as well, as he yield uh, Magnus just as he was about to RP. So you take that dude down, he, there's no RP to save Envy. Envy falls first, instantly followed by his boy Magnus, and now Grimstroke has bought back actually. But for what? Do they want to defend Roshan? That's what it looks like. Because they have to. They don't have to, you don't have... You, you, it's a void with it's, a Chrono. You won't tell Maybe them what Vegas to dance. do. Uh, they decide. <laughs> All right. You know, clearly, you know, you don't want them to be in the pit as well. I'm here on Liz. Well, they're not listening to you either. They're in there. They're taking this. There's nothing to stop him. Envy's by him back, and he's got a blink dagger with an Omni Slash. He's ready to party. Moving in now. Hope you like Italian kids. Here comes the meatball. Going to pick up the Aegis, the cheese as well. Omni Slash going to be thrown out. Mainly tanked up by one hero. Bone Seven, always the first to go down. Will he be the last? The buyback comes out. Mastermind snipes around the back. Stay king down already. Envy. He just pulled back. They don't want to commit though. They're scared. If they get this kill, they can win this game right now. They need to actually find it though. If they kill Envy, they can actually win. Frost, there's the Aegis. They need to go for Envy. Split up's going to be there right now. Arrow through. Get him down to half HP. Going to chase in. The tornado's going to come out, but the damage is too much. Envy's dead. 110 seconds out on the sideline. Brile. Now he needs to get out. He can't afford to, uh, afford to go down too. Forced up. Gets him off the high ground. Going to chase through. Though. Frost. They're going to lose vision soon. There's the Yules though, they'll have to follow up the split off, and it looks like they could get the Invoker as well. This they can win this game. Viking! 70 seconds without Invoker, 90 versus Jack. Go straight down top lane. It's the only lane that's still pushed in. Straight from the top lane onto the throne. It's not easy, it's not simple, but Envy has just done the Envy. I mean, we said it at the start of the series, Envy who win your games, we might lose you just as many. And, uh, a classic MV moment. Thinking he could just confidently go in like that. Too late. I love it. Too late. I love it. I, I was saying, I was bashing their draft, and I, I, I still stand behind my words. This is just a classic MV move that allows Viking GG to even be in a position in which they're able to win the game. I'm, I don't think they're going to win. I'm not, I'm not really certain it will happen, but it's very possible. Invoker has a buyback to work with right now. Oh, they're not trying the throne. No, they're not probing. They're going, okay, play it safe. We know that MV cannot be back for 40 seconds. And you know what that means, Liz? That means Megas. They actually have the damage to follow through on that if they want to. No, I like this. If they can take two Raxes, two, two sides, uh, they even out the game and they go back. I don't think they could have taken the throne, so this is good. Two sides, suddenly the game is even. Oh, they're losing the tier fours. A few creeps snuck in. But now they'll clean up the shrines. They'll start to starve out the map. And look at the net worth swing off the back of yeah, that. Void has buyback. Good Lord. It's because of the buyback from Envy and uh, Grimstroke. Perfect, perfect. I love it. I love it. Good job, uh, Viking GG. Good job, Envy. I, you always make games more interesting. And that's what we love. As spectators, we do. But maybe Envy's teammates are a little bit frustrated. Right now. But you keep that for after the game. That's something you can discuss later. Right now, you're going to Envy. Next fight, that is your moment to shine. Omni slash blow up everybody. There is no Aegis in play. It was already expended. Yes, they've got a cheese, but if you have Bistle Frost, it's only a 2k HP void. Yeah, you it, definitely the game is not done. And definitely Flighting Pepegas can still win this, but uh, they just made it so much more difficult for themselves. I actually expected them to give that Aegis so that they can fight after it's expanded or they find some pickoffs. They were two sides up. It's so difficult even with Aegis to do a lot, you know? Um, and 
fl flying pandas they they just gave viking gg a chance to take this game and they have to be very careful you know this is still a juggernaut without buyback for over four minutes and this is the crux when you have this type of lineup when you just take one or two fights badly and you start to bounce it back towards your opponent you are all one man lineup really everything about panda's lineup is about envy there we go and now they move in bkb in. oh there's the army sash coming out the rp far up as well they're gonna kill him off straight away his buyback is gonna come in though tping in he has the chrono steel to work with Chris Wackley in the way. Solbine's going to be thrown out pretty early. They just need to escape from this. Can they, though, on the side? They will find Aoi. They're out. They're out. They're, they're playing it. Uh, they'll lose both the supports. Grimstroke, he stays behind to say hello to the side of Iken. It's about, obviously, when I say out, uh, it's about Juggen and Walker, the two most important ones. They escape, and Chrono hasn't been committed, but the buyback has been. And Frost isn't really a happy little Void any longer. No, because now on the side of Pandas, you have a clear winning condition. If you can kill the Void, and they just prove they can. It's the same, though. It's the same on both sides. Exactly. If you kill Jug, you can win. The, the game is anyone's at the moment. The game is just so unpredictable. It's all about who initiates first. And it should be a little bit easier for Viking GG because they do have that Chrono. They managed to use the Chrono on the Void. Oh, and because the RP has been used, they know they can force this fight. Same for Nomi Slash on cooldown for 80 seconds. Arrow, Moon barely moves past it in time. The nasal goo is a bit spooky. Envy, he has Blink, he has Abyssal. He can go in, but if he catches anyone but Void, he might get chrono and he might just fall. It's hard. It's very, very hard. Frost is bait. And he's, he's got the chrono. In. He's going to hold it. Go throw out now to Magnus. Moves to the side. The BKB get activated. Now moving in. Trying to go for the kill on the Mastermind there. Disruption will save his life. Overgrowth locking them all down though. Flash, the target. Protected by the Crimson Guard. Envy trying to move away with the spin. He's trying to be a Beyblade, but it's not going to be good enough by the list. With looks moving in. Soulbank's going to come out. Looking to move me out. He's going to bring him down. He's dead. Buyback comes out straight away. Now the racks are exposed. He's not going to get back quick enough. He's trying to TP out. No RP for 40 seconds though. They still know this. They're going to move in. Frost, time walk away. Cold Snap is on him. They can't land with the Inkswab in the bash. Going to be there. No, he goes down. Envy gets hit up by the stun afterwards. They need to actually bring him down, but I'm not sure they have the damage anymore. Cataclysm is going to be used, scouts them all out. They're trying to run for the high hills. Flash is going to be left behind as a sacrificial lamb after they lose their own version of Envy there. And all of a sudden, Panda is now in control. However, deep in the Whistle base, back. look at this. Bone 7. Trying oh. to run in the wrong direction. Fountain. Yeah, wrong fountain. He tried to run to the dire one. Realized, oh, damn, I did it again. Wrong I, side, guys. I, I apologize. I thought we chose Dire this game. They lost three co three heroes, two cores, and uh, obviously their position five, Shadow Demon. And now if you are uh, flying pandas, I believe you just go straight up or you go towards the the bottom lane. There's no pressure on them as well because that melee rack still stands, so it's not mega creeps. The, it's really close, though. It's really close. If somehow Viking GG got that rack as well, that would be megas, and suddenly the game is... Much more difficult for flying pandas. They do have heroes that can deal with, with megas, but you don't want oh. to be in that position. Keep the do it. I think he's contemplating suicide and get rid of the wave. He does have buybacks. Yes. Though. He could do it, but. He doesn't. Well, he makes it obvious now. Oh no, the blink in. Inks well. Silent stop. Gonna try and leap away. But keep. <laughs> he's fine. He's going further away from his base, though. He's very fast. Get back. Because they're already on the front. And he's like, look at this speed. Yeah, he has that uh, Moon Shard to work with now. Moon Shard, Solar Crest, Alacrity, and Power. All about the Juggernaut coming in, holding on the RP. Jump Jeep, uh, Abyssal's going to come out. Mastermind, now the RP links them together, and it looks like they might have sealed the deal. Buyback yeah, will come bad. out, but Lesh no way back in. What miracle can you pull, Cube? Teammates could be up in a few seconds. Buyback from Shadow Demon, because he got it two seconds before spawning. Now the buyback's going to be there from the Shrak. They need to retreat and get run out clean. Envy, pushed up, going to go for the spin. Can they go for the TP though? They might be able to this rate. Mastermind's going deep. He's going to be able to set up here. Now the Omicide's going to be there. No, the Chrono too late. Frost, no! He's, He's going to go down again. He's going to jump out. He doesn't even get stuck in the Chrono. Envy, in a moment of madness, turns against him and ensures that Viking do not even have a lifeline here. They still can't deal. They're going to turn around. The Bash is going to be there. Mastermind trying to buy some time. Envy down to half HP. No, he might turn himself around. This spin's going to come out. Needs to move him away. The Shrak has plenty of mana to work with. The Meekle's going to be joking. dropped as well. Mastermind's dead. They can go back in again. They just need to wait for the healing world right now. And in the meantime, the spirit wrestles there. And Bone's going to be chased onto him with the ink swell. He will die next as well. He's it gone. looks like they've done this as pandas can move back into the base. It was a risk that they might lose Envy. But now GG. they get themselves the game. 2-0. Yeah, it's your Bone 7 and this Viking GG lineup. They thought that they had some sort of an idea how this matchup, how this patch should be played. 
That idea obviously was not correct as fighting the Pegas I or Pandas, I believe what they had right in both of these games was draft. I think their draft was just a little bit stronger. Uh, it's so difficult to play this uh, these games if you don't have a utility offlaner and if you let Void go through, you need some save for him. However, it Viking GG, like, you have this Void, but Frost didn't have luck as well. I don't know Ooh. if there's such thing as luck. Maybe it's just skill. I am not to judge. I personally think that I didn't have luck. That's why I didn't get in a really good team and TI. Just no oh, luck. Hold on. Just no luck. You're saying that winning is luck? Yes. All right. But we're going to go to he one clip, I believe, and then we'll talk yes. more about luck. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll think about what they said. Just show you the clip right now. We'll highlight the game. 